In this video, we'll take a look at how to manage the Burp Suite Enterprise Edition services. Services will be installed for the Enterprise Server, the Web Server, the Scanning Machines, and the database if you are using the bundled database rather than your own external one. You might want to check if these services are running or manually stop and start them. The process varies slightly depending on your operating system. The first step is to list your services. On Linux, you can do this using the command sudo systemctl and grepping the output to show the services that contain burp. On Mac OS, you would use the command sudo launch ctl list and again grep the output to show the services that contain burp. On Windows, you can use the built-in services tool which can be found by going to the control panel, System and Security, Services. You can then use the UI to find the relevant services in the list. The status column will show if the service is currently running. To stop a running service, again this will change depending on your OS. On Linux, you can use sudo systemctl stop followed by the service name. On macOS, systemctl would be replaced by launchctl, so sudo launchctl stop followed by the service name. On Windows, once you have found the appropriate service under the control panel system and security services, you can use the stop button within the dialog to stop the service or right click the service and select stop. Starting a service that is currently stopped follows a similar pattern, but replace the stop with start. So on Linux, you can use the command sudo systemctl start followed by the service name. Again, on macOS, sudo launchctl start followed by the service name. And on Windows, in the services dialog, use the start button. 